Hi and welcome back. In this part of the tutorial series I'm going to start by creating the base template for our blog. After that we will create a view for our front page and the template you need. This part will cover things like settings, URL patterns and query sets. Let's begin by going to the root of the project and create a new folder called templates. Inside templates we can create a new file called base.html. As the name suggests, this is the base template for the whole blog. We are going to extend templates like the front page using the base template. I pasted in some basic HTML. I also included a CSS from Bulma, which is a very nice CSS framework to use. It's also very handy to use in this tutorial, because then I don't need to think about some styling. It has a navigation and a container where all the content will be. Let's start by adding a block, block, content, and block. All of the templates we use to extend this, we can also add this one inside and every content we put inside there will go in here. So for now we can just save this and go inside the blog folder and create a new folder there, also called templates. Inside that we create a new file called frontpage.html and to extend the base template we say extends base.html and to put things inside this block content, we can copy this and paste it here. We can try it out by saying front page and save. But we still can't visit this page because we have to create the views for it. So we can open up views.py inside the blog folder. Go down here and create a new function by writing def front page and we pass in one parameter, which is the request. We can use the shortcut from Django called the render to render the HTML. Return. We also pass in a request here because that can be very handy to have inside the templates. We write the path to the template, which is blog slash templates front page.html and then we can save. But there's a couple of more things we need to do before we can see it in action. One of the things is going inside settings.py scrolling down to templates. We need to tell Django where to look for the templates. So we can write uh, some Python here os.path.join take base dir which should be declared in the top here and that is for the root of the project and behind here we just say empty string that's because we want to be able to go inside here and go to blog templates front page we can also add one more there into this templates so we can just copy this paste it and say templates so if you open up front page HTML, Django will look for base HTML inside this folder. Perfect. The last thing we need to do before we can see this in action is to open up urls.py and import a view we just created. So then we say from blog.views import front page. We also need to add it inside the patterns. So we say path that can be empty since it's the front page. We pass in the front page function and we give it a name so it's easier to reference inside other templates. Front page. And save. So now we can go to the browser and check it out. There. As you can see, it doesn't look very good. Okay, I forgot to close the nav. Sorry about that. Open up base.html, nav, like that, instead of div. 
Then we can test it again. Perfect. Now there's the navigation bar on top and here's the front page. Let's do a little bit change to the navigation so it sticks out a little bit more. And we can also get the posts for the front page. Inside base.html we can add a class here is dark. So then we get the dark navigation bar instead of the white. And save. To get all posts for the front page we go inside here and then we need to import the model. To do that we say from dot models import category and post. We can just import both of the models we created. We can say dot models because we are in the same folder as this models file which contains the two models. Go back to views.py and on top here we can say posts equal post.objects.all. This way we get all of the posts from the database. We need to create a dictionary to keep track of all the data. So we can say context equals posts posts. And then we need to copy the context and just pass it in here. So now the template will get all of this information. Then we can go to the front page and erase that. And in here we can create a for post in posts. So we loop through all the posts. And for each of the posts we can create an article with the title h2 post.title and save. If you go to the browser now and refresh you will see that the navigation is dark and we got both of the posts I created in the last video. That's perfect. But we need to add more data here to make it look more like a blog. So let's go back to the template. Below here we can print the introduction to the post. It's easy, just do post.intro. We can also print the time of the post below here. Time. Post.date added. Like that. We also want to make the title look a little bit better. So in Bulma we can just say title class title and this will I make it a little bit bigger. Then we can save it again. Perfect. Now we have a title, the date it was published and the introduction to the blog post. In the next video we will add a read more button and we will also create a detail view. So you are able to go into the detail view of a post. Hope you like this video and if you do please consider subscribing to my content and remember to click the bell.